Back to follow-up segment tonight, yet another police officer has been shot dead in the line of duty. 53-year-old Steve Owen, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Sergeant, killed by a man who was holding two teenagers hostage. The Washington Post reporting that the arrested suspect is an adult black male. So once again, we have a police killing with a possible racial component. Now, yesterday, Donald Trump said this in Nevada. The homicide rate last year experienced the biggest single-year increase in more than 45 years. Does anybody know that? Biggest increase in homicide in 45 years. Our police are underfunded, understaffed, and undersupported. And Hillary Clinton basically accuses our police of all being racist. Now, on the stat, Mr. Trump was close. The homicide rate in the USA has had the biggest increase in 44 years. Joining us now from New York City, Joe Sweeney, former New York City police detective who supports Hillary Clinton. And from Los Angeles, the sheriff of Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, David Clark. So, Sheriff, why is the homicide rate jumping? Uh, for a number of reasons, but I think recently it is this Ferguson effect that was coined by Heather McDonald, a researcher at the uh, Manhattan Institute, where police are uh, engaging in less assertive policing. That's the best policing there is uh, to identify perpetrators, people wanted on serious felony warrants, people who are armed, people who are selling illegal drugs. And I think that there is uh, a direct connection between less assertive policing and the rising crime rate. 17 of the largest, 17 percent murders up in the 50 largest cities in America. That's staggering, Bill. I, I find it unfathomable that a, uh, Mrs. Bill Clinton running for president of the United States is whistling past the graveyard of the bodies that are piling up. And, and the overwhelming majority of these people killed in these murders in these great cities like Baltimore, Chicago, Milwaukee, New York, it's up as well, are good law-abiding black people. Okay, now, Detective Sweeney, why do you think the homicide rate is rising? Well, I think, Bill, that there are many factors when, when uh, crime goes up. Not, you know, you can't just point to one thing. And I wouldn't dismiss the fact that there is an effect on anti-police sentiment uh, causing crime to go up in, a le in less assertive policing. Uh, but the reality is, even if that is true, you have to solve the problem. And there's no way to solve it by just saying, I support the police. You have to get, be engaged in the community. Uh, All right, know. well, give me one reason why you think Hillary Clinton is the best candidate to solve the murder and crime problem. Just one reason. Well, I think her commitment to, to funding uh, training, she's going to put a billion dollars into the budget for police training, and I think that, that will uh, go a long way in solving the problem. Okay. Uh, Sheriff, why is Donald Trump, in your opinion, the best candidate to solve the law and order problem? Well, one of the reasons, I think, is that he's put the spotlight on it. Look, this is a dirty little secret in America, the carnage uh, that's going on in these great American cities in the American ghetto. Uh, Mrs. Bill Clinton refused to even fill out an application for police support, the Fraternal Order of Police that did endorse Donald Trump. Uh, she didn't even fill it out. Look, her husband, when he received the support of the endorsement of the FOP back when he ran. He was like a kid in a candy store. He was real excited, had a press conference, surrounded himself with members of the FOP and, and said, together, we have to fight crime in America. It's kind of funny that we had crime on the run during the late 80s, all through the 90s, and the early part of the uh, 2000s, where we had record levels of decreased crime. In other words, we already were doing it. We knew what we were doing. The only thing that's different now is police are less assertive. All right, now, um, I'm going to give you the last word, Mr. Sweeney. There are some people that are skeptical of Hillary Clinton in the uh, law enforcement range because she has taken some shots at the cops by saying, hey, look, we have a problem here with the police. Maybe they're not as sensitive as they should be. And, and that has not played well in some of the police uh, organizations like the Fraternal Order. You say? Well, I... I... I can understand why why it would be um, enticing to to take you know to to back uh, somebody like Donald Trump who just comes out and says I, I support the police I'm the law and order uh, candidate but law and order without compassion for your community isn't going to solve the problem and I think you know you've seen uh, Hillary Clinton get together with the leaders of law enforcement they did it here in New York and. Um, and also try and reach out to the communities, that's, gonna, that's where the, the problem's going to be solved. It's not, it's not in, uh, you know, picking sides. Okay. All right, guys, good debate. We really appreciate you coming on.